All right, guys, Gene Wells again. Day seven notes here. Uh, notice the bass is still five everywhere, so that's good. Uh, we're going to combine. We're going to look at the top first. We have two things going on up here, so we're going to combine those. Uh, we know the bass is five, so we're going to leave that five. And our rule for multiplying is we, um, we add exponents, so two plus a negative five, different sign, subtract. Bigger sign, our bigger number gets the sign negative, so it's five to negative three on top. That five to the four will stay in the bottom for now. Now we can keep going, actually. We still have the same base of five, so that's five. And we are dividing, so our rule is to subtract the exponents. Negative three minus four is a negative seven. And then we learned yesterday we don't ever leave answers with negative exponents. We flip and make positive. So instead of 5 to the negative 7, we're going to say this is 1 over 5 to the positive 7. Final answer. All right, guys. So practice problem number 6. Um, it's pretty much the same deal. Um, luckily enough, we have the same base, so we don't have to change anything over. And uh, remember, whenever something is raised... Uh, and you don't see anything, there's an invisible one. So same rules, uh, we know our base is gonna be three, and I'm just gonna subtract my exponent. So I have, and I'm gonna write over to the side, negative two minus one, and same thing from day one, my signs are the same. So it's gonna be three to the negative third. We never leave anything as a negative exponent, so I just do flip and change the sign. So our final answer is one to three to the third. And the last one, we have a fraction, again, raised to a negative exponent. First rule, flip it. So instead of two-fifths, we'll make that five over two. Leave it in parentheses. We'll change that negative two to a positive two. Um, and then we're going to do the second power to both of these. So this is actually five to the second power over two to the second power. Five to the second power is 25. Two to the second power is... Four, and then we're going to change this improper fraction to a mixed number. So if we remember, this bar here means division. So we're really going to take 25 and divide it by 4. 4 goes into 25 six times. Notice we're going to do our long division step from 4th grade. Maybe 5th grade. And we have final answer of 6 and 1 fourth. And that is our mixed number.